this Sith pupil turned Jedi Knight Galen Merrick, codenamed Starkiller, was Darth Vader's first attempt at a secret apprentice, he was not his last. After Galen's death on the first Death Star, Vader sought out another student to teach in the ways of the dark side of the Force, and to one day aid him in combining their power to destroy the Emperor. After the failure of Galen Merrick, Vader was filled with a new sense of purpose and power, as he wished to increase his own strength in the dark side of the Force after his disappointing performance against Galen that nearly resulted in his death. Because of this, Vader trained the only way he knew best, by again hunting down the remaining Jedi in the galaxy after Order 66. Vader had recently discovered an enclave of Jedi that had survived the Jedi Purge on the planet of Sumari, but more than this, Darth Vader discovered that the Order 66 survivors had been training a new generation of Jedi in the two decades after the collapse of the Old Order. Seeing that this new Jedi Academy was surrounded by innocents who for years had hid the Jedi away, Vader ordered ordered an orbital strike of all the areas surrounding the Jedi except for the Academy itself as Vader wished to personally deal with the Jedi. As the Imperial Star Destroyers fired on the planet, its surface was burned away, and Vader made his presence known to the Jedi as they watched in horror. After arriving on the planet, Vader released all of his rage on the Jedi Masters, as well as all of the young students, most of whom were under 20 years old. Vader used the rage behind the failure of his failed apprentice Galen to slaughter the new Jedi Order and Academy that had risen in the Outer Rim, and effortlessly killed all of the Jedi until a single Jedi Master and his apprentice stood before him. As the Jedi Master charged Vader, he again seemingly with no effort cut him down. In his dying breath, the Master turned to his apprentice and spoke the words, Live, Tao, live. Vader watched in silence as the young boy's eyes were filled with tears. When the boy looked up, Darth Vader witnessed the pure power of the dark side of the Force. Filled with fury and giving himself to the dark side after the deaths of all those that he cared about, the young Padawan attacked the Dark Lord of the Sith. Vader was at first shocked by the skill of the boy as he used the dark side of the Force to fuel his every move. As the boy relentlessly attacked Darth Vader, the Dark Lord resolved to again claim another apprentice in the form of the Fallen Padawan. Disarming Tao, Vader taunted him to further give in to his hatred for the Sith Lord. However, the Jedi Padawan ceased his attack. The young fallen Jedi then bowed his head and pledged himself to Darth Vader. For a brief moment, the fallen Jedi Padawan Tao was unsure if Vader would accept him or strike him down. Vader ultimately took the boy with him as he had Galen Merrick promising him that he would become powerful and a new weapon for the Sith. As the Dark Lord and his newfound apprentice departed, he ordered the rest of the planet's surface be scorched as he forced the boy to watch in terror. As Tao watched his planet burn, Vader promised him that he would know pain as well as hatred and that these would be his closest allies. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video as we will discuss in full detail what ultimately became of Tao and what resulted because of his apprenticeship under the Dark Lord of the Sith. Darth Vader. But what are your thoughts on Darth Vader's rage against Galen Merrick following his apprentice's death? And what are your thoughts on Darth Vader taking out all of his fury on a Jedi Enclave that had survived past Order 66 and was attempting to rebuild? As a big question for the video though, who is your favorite Sith Apprentice? May the Force be with you and have a great day.